In this episode, you will learn how to disable liquid glass from your application. Please watch the full video until the end. Ok, here we are in this project that implements an online store using MV Pattern. If you want to learn more about it, I created an article for that in the description below. But the point of the video is just to show you that first, this project is running right now on Xcode 16, the previous version to Xcode 26. What I'm going to do right now is just show you that it is working completely normal. You can see here that, okay, it's, it's loading a list of information. Huh? But the thing is that if you see, it's, it's you still using the UI from iOS 18 and earlier. So we have a tab, we have this profile, um, we have this go to car, we don't have anything, but if we add something, we can see that, okay, it is um, model open. Nothing crazy. But the point here is just to show you that it is using the, let's call it right now, legacy UI. Because the point of the video is to show you what you should do if you want to transform this UI into the new liquid glass UI. For that, we will have to stop the project and now open the same project in Xcode 26. Let's do that. I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to open Xcode 26. Let me, there you go. Now we are in Xcode 26. Let me open the project again. And there you go. You can see now that UI is a little bit different. And we have also the new ChatGPT integration or AI models because you can use more than that more than just ChatGPT. If you want to learn more about it and my first impression of that, you have also a link in the description. But okay, this project was just brought from the past and now we want to just run it into the new OS. Let's first try to compile it and see what we can get. Okay, it's compiling, nice. Now let's run it and see what happened. Okay, the project is back. But the UI is still the same. Why? Well, simply because I'm running this in an iOS 18 emulator, which is an important thing. In order to actually watch a change, we need to run this simulator on Xcode 26. I'm going to use this one. Yeah, there we go, 26. Now let's run and see what kind of magic we can get here. Okay, looks like they glass UI is there. Now, let's see if we can open it up quickly. Now, there you go. We just compiled the app. We didn't change anything. And look, the glass effect below. We can change here. I love this effect. Look at that. Yay. I'm sorry. That is distracting me a little bit. Um, Oh, well, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's, it's like, you know, moving from one effect to another because there is dark and light. And please, um, you don't need your complaints about this new UI. We can save it for later. But the point is, okay, this is a new UI. Also, the go to car bot button is different. If we press it, okay, it's the same. If we add product here, we can see that it's there. The button, well, this is a custom button, by the way, so that's why it's not changing. And okay, everything looks fine. However, this application is straightforward, right? We don't need to do anything special to be ready for Xcode. No, 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 Xcode, uh, iOS 26. But what will happen if we have a lot of custom controls? And honestly, we don't have enough time because we are a business and we have more to deal than just worrying about that UI. Here's the thing. You can disable liquid glass in your application if needed. If you want to do it, there is just one simple thing to do. In order to do that, let's go in Xcode 26 to the project file. And then we are going to click on the target here and we're going to select info which is the plis information with all the properties that our project has and here we're going to create a new property this property will be 
UI design requires compatibility. And this will be a Boolean. With this UI design requires compatibility, you will tell the system if it should use liquid glass or not. Right now, if we set it to no, it will use liquid glass. But if you want to require the compatibility with the old design, the only thing you need to do is just change it to yes. Let me do it right now. There you go. Yes. Okay. Now, if we run the app again, let's see the result. Look, we're back to the look and feel of iOS 18. Yes, right? Everything is fine. We have the, the basic buttons here. If we added one here, there we go. It is the same UI that we saw at the beginning of the video. And if you are ready now, let's say, okay, my application is, is fine. I'm clicking, there you go. Now let's run again. Once you set it now, you will see that the UI from iOS 26 with liquid glass is there. And this is how easy you can disable or enable liquid glass in your project. However, there is one very important thing you should know. UI design requires compatibility will only be available on Xcode 26 and the SDK for iOS 26 and all the 26 OSs, meaning that in the next version of Xcode with Xcode 27 and iOS 27, etc., etc., this property won't be available. You should work on your liquid glass update as soon as possible. You basically have a, a year if you can do it right now, but just keep in mind that this is just a temporary workaround for you in order to not jump right away in just a couple of months to this UI. So that said, use that property carefully. Good luck with your update to Liquid Glass. What do you think about that new UI? Do you think it's a great idea? Or do you think it's a terrible idea? Let me know in the comments below. And lastly, you can watch other cool Swift videos right in front of you. That's all for me. Remember, my name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.